Hello everyone and welcome to Retail Archaeology. Today we'll be taking a look at Riviera Plaza in Mesa, Arizona. Now this is a very large shopping plaza that was built in 1975 and as of today it's very dead. You can see it's anchored by a Goodwill there and that used to be a Fry's grocery store. There's also an outbuilding here and it's about half occupied and here's something you don't see very often anymore, a Quiznos. At least you don't see open Quiznos very often anymore. About a dozen years ago they had 5,000 locations and now they're down to around 800. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Abandoned. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the main plaza though and here's a shot of the map and I will tell you this map is very outdated. Most of the places listed on here are now closed. The rainbow is still here as well as the Sally's Beauty Supply and there's also a nail place that's still open but everything else is pretty much empty. This map also doesn't show the full size of the plaza, there's more empty stuff to the left of where the fries used to be which we'll see a little bit later in the video. Now over here to the right is one of the few things that's still left open here, the rainbow clothing store and I've noticed more and more of these closing so it wouldn't surprise me if this location isn't far behind. There's a shop online poster in the display window, which I think is kind of funny because I don't think online shopping has helped the brick and mortar apparel business very much. But speaking of shopping online, make sure to check out the Retail Archaeology merch shop where you can find Siesta Mall t-shirts, Rotting Acres Mall, as well as Retail Archaeology t-shirts. And I'll have a link down in the video description box if you want to check that out. According to this map, this store was a flowers and such at one point and it looks like this has been empty for quite a while because there's leaves piled up inside the store. This seems like a pretty big suite for a flower shop, but the name of the place was flowers and such, so maybe the and such part necessitated a larger space. And here we can see that this whole place is owned by Moonbeam Leasing. and. They have a notorious reputation for owning places like this that are fairly dead and abandoned and not really maintaining them. This was kind of weird too, there was a relatively nice looking pair of vans just kind of sitting here. They don't look worn out or anything at all, I wonder what the story is with these. I find plazas like this very interesting because it's almost like a miniature outdoor mall. And you can see there's nice mature trees here, and I do like the layout of the place, and it seems like it would be really nice if it was maintained and occupied. I also like to document these type of places because I'm seeing more and more of these dead plazas and shopping centers and strip malls, and I think it's important to point out that malls aren't the only retail sector that are suffering. There seems to be a growing amount of unneeded retail space, and I really have to wonder what we're going to do with all these places, or if their ultimate fate is just going to be a wrecking ball. From what I understand, this property has been languishing for a while, and that, and also the fact that it's a Moonbeam property, makes me think that there may be no turning this place around. This is kind of an interesting shot we were able to see into the back room of the rainbow through a tear in the window tint. And while we were standing there, we smelt something, and I looked down, and that is definitely a puddle of piss. It really smelled back here. It looks like they've had an issue with a lot of windows being broken as well. There's a lot of boarded up windows and there's also a lot of pigeons back here and you'll notice there's a lot of bird crap all over the place. Nothing as bad as Papago Plaza was, but it's, it's pretty bad here. I imagine all the broken windows are due to a combination of vandals and scrap or stripping places for copper. Framed art, lamps, silk plants and trees, and lots more. Now there's lots of nothing. Now according to the map, this suite was a Republican Party campaign office and I'm kind of surprised it was here long enough to be on the map because generally these campaign offices pop up during an election cycle and then quickly disappear after the cycle's over. You see what I mean though? This could be a neat little shopping plaza if it was maintained. And if anybody needed all this retail space. It was really eerily quiet back here. Walking through this empty plaza definitely evoked the same feelings that I would get while strolling through a dead mall. Oh, it looks like we found the timeout chair. Looks like that's been there for a while. And you can see lots of uh, bird crap there. 
I grew up in Mesa. I, I no longer live here, but when I was a kid, I remember plazas like this just being really busy and bustling, and now these dead and empty ones seem to be becoming more and more of a common occurrence. And depending on what sources you check, Mesa, Arizona is the second or third largest suburb in the United States, and it's continuing to grow, which makes things like this seem even more strange to me. This whole plaza is about 122,000 square feet, and multiply that by the number of empty plazas like this, that's a lot of empty retail space. I think they were using this suite as the leasing office. It's kind of weird, just a desk and a chair and a little flower and a vase. Smile on camera. That looks real professional. We did notice a couple of security cameras mounted, but they looked really old and like they were out of commission. Excuse me while I slip into something fabulous. Well, I, I guess that's better than live, laugh, love. With Mesa, Arizona being one of the largest suburbs in the United States, I have to assume that this issue of increasing empty retail space is not localized to just this area, and I have seen similar things in California and New Mexico as well. Okay, maybe the bird crap issue is getting almost as bad as Papaco Plaza here. Now, according to the map, this was a wallpaper market, and you can see a lot of different types of wallpaper there. I will say, it does seem like the pigeons have a lot more love for this place than shoppers do. The neighborhood this plaza is located in is a little on the older side, but it's still relatively nice, which is another reason I'm kind of surprised to see this place looking like this. But like I mentioned earlier in the video, this was formerly anchored by a Fry's grocery store, and it does seem like the grocery store business has been pretty tough lately. There was actually a Safeway grocery store just up the road from here, and that just recently closed. Grocery stores have been facing a lot of stiff competition from home delivery services, of course Walmart, and even Target, which has been expanding quite a bit of their stores to have grocery sections and are offering curbside pickup. But maybe that's a topic for another video. Looks like the map is missing on this side. Now down this way there isn't a whole lot. There's the door for the wallpaper market and then there's one more suite at the end. The weird thing is this suite was not labeled on the map, this last one on the end, so I'm not really sure what it was. But we'll take a quick look inside and it looks like it's being used for storage now. And based on the condition of that door, it looks like it's been empty for a very long time. I wonder where all these racks and shelving came from. It looks like there might be some sort of a leak in there. You can see portions of the ceiling are collapsing. What a mess. Hey look, we found the plaza fountain. In all seriousness though, we heard some running water when we were walking back through and then noticed this mop bucket being filled. And no, I'm not sticking my camera in this one. It looks like there is some maintenance going on here though, because we noticed that that door with the camera warning was now propped open as well. I wonder if they're getting ready to mop up that puddle of piss. We're now in the front of the plaza where the Fry's grocery store used to be, and even though the Goodwill now occupies where the Fry's was, it looks like it's not occupying the entire suite. If we look through this window here, we can see where it looks like this was part of the grocery store originally. It's kind of a weird space, and it's pretty crusty. I will say the Goodwill thrift store that's here does seem to be fairly busy, but that seems to be the case for all of the Goodwill stores in the Phoenix area. It seems like whenever a grocery store or something of similar size closes, a Goodwill pops up in there about a year or so later. This Goodwill thrift store is actually why we were over here. A lot of people have been asking what happened to my thrifting videos, and some of the older thrifting videos have been getting a lot more views lately, so we decided we should film some more. Now over here at the end was a Joann's Fabrics, and I'm not sure when this closed, but it's been more than a few years. I remember when it was having its closing sale. Peeking through the windows, it doesn't look like anything else has moved in here since the Joann's moved out. But we're getting close to the end of our tour of Riviera Plaza, so I'd be interested to know what you think. What, what should we do with all of this empty retail space? Should it just be knocked down? Should it be converted into something else? 
it seems like this is becoming more and more of a problem, all of these empty plazas and shopping centers and add that to the dead malls and everything. That's just a lot of wasted space. The other issue is it seems like new retail space is constantly being built, and I don't know if this perpetual building is such a good idea. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Riviera Plaza in Mesa, Arizona. As always, everyone, thanks for watching. Want to see your name here? Head on over to patreon.com slash retailarchaeology to find out how you can help support the channel. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out my video on Riviera Plaza. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and also make sure to follow at the social media links down there because that's the best way to keep up with what's going on with the channel. And lastly, if you have a few minutes, why not check out one of these other videos I have here.